Healy, can you please call the roll? Mrs. Avanzato? Mr. Blasbach? Here. Mrs. Clarkin? Here. Mr. Jones? Mrs. Mulgavran? Here. Mrs. Hell? Thank you. Mrs. Healy, can you please recite the calendar? Friday, November 6, 2015 is professional day and there's no school for students. <coughs> Tuesday, November 10th, 2015, there will be a school committee work session at 7 p.m. at North Kingston High School. Wednesday, November 11th is Veterans Day and schools and offices are closed. Dr. Roger, do you have any presentations or, recommend or recognitions? Yes, um, we're going to do a presentation about the Davisville Academy, but first, one quick item. Uh, this past week, um, many members of the North Kingston School Department, Dr. Humbert and I included, were uh, fortunate to attend the Rhode Island After School Plus Alliance Breakfast of Champions. And we have two champions uh, in our midst tonight, and that beautiful poster there is Jackie Trainer and Cindy Bowe who were honored at this event. They were honored because they, quote, embody both passion and commitment to children and youth for their demonstrated excellence in the out-of-school programming they provide to North Kingstown students. Um, this particular honor is special as there are very few opportunities that we have to uh, do honors for out-of-school time. Sometimes that gets forgotten, but it's a very important part of uh, Children's Day, as you all know. So thank you both, um, and to all of our Office of Family Learning, it's appropriate that we would do this tonight because um, not only uh, is the Office of Family Learning located here at Davisville Academy, but the poster there, if you can't read it, says it's all about creating a space, a place, an environment, a culture that we would want them to be in, and that is the theme for the evening with Davisville Academy. So congratulations to Jackie and Cindy, and thank you very much. tonight uh, for the tours, which are going to come up very soon. And right now, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Patty Pizzullo and Principal Karen Skerry um, of, the, um, of the Davisville Academy um, um, uh, program. Thank you. And, um, and so they're going to they're gonna speak very briefly about, you know, the programming, what its purpose is, the function that we have, and how things are going so far. And then, without uh, wasting any time after that, we're going to uh, offer to have different uh, people lead tours around the building so you can see the wonderful work that has been done over the last uh, couple of years. Dr. Mazzullo, if you could use the microphone, please, because they need that at home. Does this make a difference? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dr. Ojay, and thank you, folks, for being here this evening. Um, as I stand here and every, every day that I walk through the building, um, I think of when all of this began, and um, I, I remember the thought, the ideas, and I remember uh, all the work it took. I remember all the collaboration it took from so many people. I remember um, uh, talking and thinking and presenting and uh, reviewing information, reviewing numbers, and making sure everything was pointing in the direction that we thought it was going to point in. And as I walk down the corridor of this building and I look in the classrooms and, and greet the students, two of whom you met uh, out front uh, today, uh, it, it has been all worthwhile. Uh, there are programs here for students with social-emotional disabilities, programs here for students with uh, uh, anxiety, students who uh, cannot attend their regular school for any number of reasons. <coughs> but what it's all about in the end is that we are serving our students, our children, and we're keeping our children home. And um, I know that it has already served the community well, and I know that in the future it is going to continue to serve the community well. So I thank everyone who made this happen, who made it possible. I am humbled when I look around, and I'm very, very proud to be part of this effort. Um, and now I would like uh, Karen Skerry, she's the principal of the Clinical Day Program, to tell you a little bit about the programs. Thank you. 
Good evening. I'm, I'm truly honored to be the principal at Davisville Academy. Uh, we opened on 9-8, and we currently have 30 st 36 students enrolled. We have nine elementary students, three middle school students, and 24 high school students. So the classrooms are very small, very structured classrooms. The students come from all over the district, and we currently have one student from out of district. Students come to us for a variety of reasons, as Patty mentioned, and as it, our goal is to provide therapeutic supports that are integrated into a student's school day and coordinated with family and community functioning. We offer special academic instruction to help students be more successful. The structure of the classroom in the high school and middle school uh, right now, we have one special education teacher for each classroom and one behavior management assistant. Um, there are Tara Walsh, Becky King, Danielle Sisson, and Tim Shan. We have highly qualified staff that come and teach content area to our students, such as English, science, history, and math. We offer art, PE, and health, and tech readiness. Currently, we have some students that transition to the high school for classes, and we offer, also offer online classes using Edgenuity. James Ryan. Our middle school, uh, high school social worker conducts social skills groups and has developed treatment plans cooperatively with the students. Um, he also meets with them on a regular basis and is in constant contact with uh, family members. Dr. John Kimpton is our clinical psychologist. He also works with all of the teams uh, to develop treatment plans and he also meets with students when needed as well as conducting any type of evaluations. In our elementary classroom in our K-2 K-2 classroom, Joni Kenyon is the teacher. She has two behavior management assistants. There are currently five students. Um, grades three through five, um, Sam Crooks is the teacher. He has two behavior management assistants and he has four students. The elementary students also participate in art, PE, library, and music. Our elementary social worker, Brooke Potter, does social skills groups in both elementary classes and meets with students on an individual basis as needed and stays connected with families. Karen Engstrom and Diane Joaker are an integral part of our program. Um, they're the behavior specialist and assistant behavior specialist. They work with our teams as well um, to help uh, build our behavior programs, incentives, and of course they support all of the classrooms and they also work throughout the district. I cannot say enough how much of an incredible team we have here at Davisville Academy. We all work together in the whole program to ensure the success of our students. Our ultimate goal is to trans uh, transition all students back to their home school. Thank you. I also want to add that today was a special day at Davisville Academy. Um, we got a phone call from Bill Penoyer of the Parades Committee in North Kingstown, and he and his American Legion associates um, came to Davisville Academy for an official flag raising. They were also a group that had done an official flag lowering when Davisville Elementary was closed about five or six years ago. And I want to recognize that uh, we had Major William King of the U.S. Army retired on hand today. Um, from the Parades Committee, uh, Richard August. From the Rhode Island Funeral Honors Program, First Sergeant Army Linwood uh, Buffery and EMC-1 electricians made Nancy Albro. And special thanks as well to Tom Spink from the uh, North Kingstown Chorus um, for bringing the audio equipment and even having you know the trumpet call while we were raising the flag. It was a very touching moment, and uh, it's not something that they had to do, but it was it was nice to have that community support for for this program, and we very much appreciate their efforts. So at this point, um, I don't know if there are any questions or. Uh, not, we can we can move right into the tours of the building. Um, the uh, staff from um, the the program, the clinical day program, Davisville Academy, are on hand. And for those of you interested in looking at the building, I know members of the asset management committee are here. Um, we have Mr. Jim Partridge, who was the architect for the for the building project over the last few years, on hand to uh, show you around. So please um, take some time and um, and enjoy. Thank you.
citizens' comments?
with that, I, I want to thank you for, for your interest and look forward to working with you. And if you have any questions, um, I'm sure you have my email, but I'm happy to, to share it with you and look forward to, to working together. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a motion to seal the executive session minutes? October 27, 2015. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I can disclose that there was a unanimous vote um, in executive session of October 27, 2015 um, to approve the security, the district emergency plans. And um, I wanted just to let you know that those present were um, Ms. McGovern, Mr. Blasbog, and myself, Mrs. Clarkin. And we were present to make that um, brief unanimous vote. Do I, um, I have one removal from the consent agenda, um, item E3. On the SC approval of new staff. It's just that one. There's one particular item on there. It's not the whole item. Yeah, and I don't have that name. Okay, I do. I okay. have that for you. Do you? Oh, yes, sir. Do you want me to say it? Or do, oh. Yes. Okay. Okay, so from item E3, approval of appointments, we're going to remove Grace Savastano from the consent agenda. Do I have any other exemptions from the consent agenda? E Mrs. McGovern? E7. Mr. Blasbaugh. Item F. Can I have a motion to approve all items on the consent agenda except um, E7 and F? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Oh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. <coughs> Ms. McGovern, E7. Uh, I have some concerns that have been already expressed in executive session. Can I have a... Uh, I make a motion to approve E7. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. McGovern? No. Thank you. Motion passes two to one. Uh, Mr. Blasbog F. We'd like to make a motion to approve um, Diane Izzo as the school committee representative for the Asset Management Commission. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Mrs. King, do we have any um, thing on the CIP existing bond, future bond? Yes, I would like to discuss with the committee tonight. We, we don't need a vote tonight, um, but I included in your package the resolutions that the North Case Town Town Council took, um, two resolutions to formulate a committee um, that will look at consolidated space for town and school administrative offices, and they're calling that the Town Government Center Committee. And as you can see from the resolutions in your package, it looks like the committees will be um, five people for town council, five people for us. Um, the town, uh, Mr. Bergeron has indicated that the town people will consist of him, the building uh, inspector, and the fire marshal, um, and two other people that I believe the town is going to advertise for. I'm not sure that that's <laughs> actually solidified or not. Um, on our committee, Dr. Ajay and I would suggest that he and I are on the committee, uh, and then three other members as you see fit. Um, they can be members of the community, they can be members of facility subcommittee, um, however you guys want to see, that. I mean, they can, uh, they can be school committee members, however you guys want to see that formulated. The town council has asked that we please get back to them by November 18th with that answer, and we do have a meeting on November 10th. Uh, so, you know, if we could talk about that or you could let me know what your thoughts are, we could get that on the agenda and report back to them how you'd like to see that committee uh, comprised. Any discussion? Can I have a motion?
motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you, everybody.